My daughter, today meditate on my sorrowful passion, its immensity. Meditate on it as if it had been embarked on solely for your sake. Meditation upon my passion will help you rise above all these things. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I have always been, I am, and will be your master. Try to make your heart like unto my meek and humble heart. Never insist on your rights. Bear everything that happens to you with calm and patience. Don't defend yourself when you are unjustly put to shame. Let others triumph. Don't stop being good when you notice that they are abusing your goodness. I myself will stand up for you when necessary. Be grateful for the slightest grace from me, because your gratitude will oblige me to grant you new graces. Today my soul is steeped in bitterness. O oh Jesus, O oh my Jesus, Today all are allowed to add to my cup of bitterness. Friend or foe, anyone may make me suffer. But you, O oh Jesus, are obliged to give me power and strength in these difficult moments. O oh blessed host, support me and close up my lips to muttering and complaints. When I keep silent, I know I shall win. At the cross her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping close to Jesus to the last. Second station Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You see my mercy for sinners being revealed in its full power right at this moment. See how little you have written about it, barely one drop. Do all you can to get sinners to learn of my goodness. You are my heart. Tell sinners of my mercy. O oh God, you could have saved thousands of worlds with just one word. One sigh from Jesus would have sufficed to recompense your justice. But instead, O oh Jesus, you underwent such terrible suffering yourself solely out of love of us. Your Father's justice would have been atoned for with just one sigh from you. Therefore all that you suffered was the work solely of your mercy and infinite love. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, now at length the sword had passed. Third Station Jesus falls the first time. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lay your head on my bosom and rest. The Lord pressed me to his heart and said, I will give you a portion of my passion. Fear not, but be brave, and do not seek relief. Take it all submitting to my will. O Christ, to suffer for your sake is ecstasy for the heart and soul. O you, my suffering, prolong yourself for an infinite duration, so that I may give Jesus proof of my love. I hereby accept all that your hand shall give me. All I need is your love, O Jesus. I shall praise you in desertion and in darkness, in dread and in distress, in anguish and bitterness, in spiritual affliction and with bitter suffering in my heart. In all things be praised. My heart is so severed off from the earth that all I want is you yourself. Now, there's not a moment longer in my life to be busy thinking of myself. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. Fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Gaze upon my heart, so full of love and mercy for humans especially for sinners. Gaze upon it and enter into the depth of my passion. My daughter, your sympathy is a comfort. Your soul takes on a singular beauty when you meditate on my passion. O oh Mary, no one knows of your suffering save God. Your soul does not break down but is courageous, for it is with Jesus. Sweet Mother, unite my soul with Jesus, for only then will I be able to persevere in all the trials and tests. Only in union with Jesus will my little offerings please God. Sweetest Mother, Instruct me on the spiritual life. May the sword of suffering never crush me. O pure Virgin, watch over my heart and pour courage into it. Christ above in torment hangs. She beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. Fifth Station Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My daughter, often Meditate on the suffering I endured for you, and nothing that your suffering for my sake will seem big. I find you most pleasing when you are meditating on my sorrowful passion. Unite your little sufferings with my sorrowful passion, so that they may have an infinite value before my majesty. 
O my Jesus, I unite my suffering, my bitter experiences, and my dying itself with your holy passion, and I offer it up for the whole world to beg for an abundance of your mercy upon souls. I trust steadfastly in your holy will and submit to it completely, for it is mercy itself. Your mercy will be my all at the last hour, just as you yourself have promised me. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in miseries so deep, Christ's dear mother to behold? Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Look what the love of human souls has done to me. My daughter, in your heart, I find everything that such a great number of souls deny me. Your heart is my respite. Help me, O Lord, to make my heart merciful, so that I should identify with all the suffering of my neighbors. I shall never deny my heart to anyone. I shall be honest even with those I know will take advantage of my goodness, and I shall lock myself up in the most merciful heart of Jesus. I shall remain silent about my own suffering. May your mercy rest in me, O Lord. O my Jesus, transform me into yourself, for you can do everything. And a human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold. Seventh Station Jesus Falls the Second Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I want you to be trained to fight, like a knight who in the midst of battle and the roar of bullets knows how to issue commands to others. Likewise, my child, you should be able to keep yourself under control even in the greatest of difficulties and let nothing not even your failures keep you away from me jesus source of life sanctify me jesus my might strengthen me jesus my captain fight my battle for me Jesus, the only light of my soul, enlighten me. Master of mine, lead me. I depend on you as a baby depends on its mother's love. Even if everything were to conspire against me, and even if the ground were to give way under my feet, close to your heart, I'd still be calm. For me, you are always the most loving and the best of mothers. To you I shall sing of my sorrows in silence, and you will understand me beyond all words. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. Eighth Station 
Jesus speaks to the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It is all for the salvation of souls. My daughter, consider what you are doing for their salvation. Jesus, when I see your passion, I realize I'm hardly doing anything at all for the salvation of souls. Know, O oh my daughter, that your quiet everyday martyrdom in absolute submission to my will is bringing many souls into heaven. And whenever you think that your suffering is too much for your strength to bear, look at my wounds and you will rise above people's scorn and judgments. Meditation upon my passion will help you rise above all these things. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. Ninth Station Jesus Falls the Third Time we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Suddenly I saw Jesus on the cross, who said to me, In my passion, seek strength and light. I meditated on Jesus' terrible passion and realized that what I was suffering was nothing compared to my Savior's passion and that every imperfection, even the slightest one, contributed to that terrible suffering. Suddenly, my soul was overwhelmed by such great remorse and only then did I feel that I was in the sea of the unfathomable divine mercy. Oh, how few words I have to express what I go through. I feel like a dewdrop pulled into the depths of the boundless ocean of divine mercy. O oh, thou mother fount of love, Touch my spirit from above, make my heart with thine accord. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When I received Jesus in Holy Communion, my heart called out as powerfully as it could, O oh Jesus, turn me into another host. I want to be a living host for you. You are the great Lord, all-powerful. You can give me that grace. And the Lord replied, You are a living host pleasing to the Heavenly Father. But just think what a host is, a sacrifice, and so. Oh my Jesus, I know what host means. I know what sacrifice means. I want to be a living host, a living sacrifice before your majesty, burning every day in your honor. When my strength starts to fail me, Holy Communion will support me and give me strength. 
I really dread the day when I won't have Holy Communion. My soul draws a most extraordinary power from Holy Communion. Make me feel as thou hast felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ my Lord. Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My mercy is greater than your wretchedness and all the world's wretchedness. Who has measured my goodness? For you, I came down to earth from heaven. For you, I let myself be nailed to the cross. O oh my Jesus of mercy, painful was your holy life on earth, and you will complete your work in a terrible ordeal of torture, hanging stretched out on the wood of the cross and all for love of our soul. In the hardest of torments, I fix the gaze of my soul on Jesus on the cross. I do not expect any help from people, but put my trust in God. All my hope is in His unfathomed mercy. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart, each wound renew of my Savior crucified. Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. At three o'clock, I was lying prostrate and praying for the whole world. Now, Jesus had come to the end of his mortal life. I heard his seven words. Then he looked at me and said, Beloved daughter of my heart, you are my relief in the midst of terrible suffering. For you, I let myself be nailed to the cross. For you, I let the lance pierce my most sacred heart, and I opened up the spring of mercy for you. Come and draw graces from this spring with the vessel of trust. I shall never reject a humble heart. Your wretchedness has sunk in the depth of my mercy. Why should you quarrel with me about your wretchedness? Do me the pleasure of entrusting all your misery, all your wretchedness to me, and I shall fill you with the treasure of my graces. I ponder on the omnipotence of divine mercy which passed through Jesus' heart. I enclose the whole of poor humankind in the open wound of Jesus' heart and individually each person whom I love every time I make the Stations of the Cross. The two rays, the blood and water, issued from that fountain of mercy and are flooding the whole world with their vast tide of graces. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all my sins was slain, who for me in torment died.
13th station. Jesus is taken down from the cross and given to his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Disciple of mine, have great love for those who make you suffer. Be good to those who hate you. I replied, O oh Master, can't you see that I don't feel any love for them and it's worrying me? Jesus replied, Feelings are not always under your control, but you'll know whether you have love if, after you've been offended and come up against problems because of them, you are still calm and praying for those who have made you suffer and wish them well. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. Fourteenth station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. At the fourteenth station, I get a strange feeling that Jesus is going into the earth. Then I heard the voice in my soul. Don't cry. I'm no longer suffering. And in return for the faithfulness with which you attended me in my passion and death, your own death shall be specially honoured, and I shall attend you in your last hour. Beloved pearl of my heart, I see your love for me is so pure, purer than angelic love, purer because you are fighting. For your sake, I send my blessing down on the world. I see the efforts you are making on my behalf, and they are the delight of my heart. After those words, I stopped crying. Instead, I thanked the Heavenly Father for sending His Son down to us and for the work of redemption of humankind. My home is in heaven, yet before we can return home, we have to accomplish God's will on earth. All the trials and the battles have to be accomplished in us. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray, is all I ask of thee to give. O merciful God, you who are allowing me still to continue living, give me the strength to live the new life the life of the Spirit, over which death has no power. And my heart has been renewed, and I have started a new life already here on earth, the life of divine love. Though I shall not forget that I am weakness itself, yet I shall not doubt even for a moment in the help of your grace, O God.